Hello, this is Rob, GW8RDI, looking at the Spectrum with the G90 here. And in this video we're going to take a quick look at uh, uh, mirroring, mirroring on the IQ, uh, on the I from the IQ signal imperfections or imbalance. Uh, you can see here that we have signals on the left uh, and there's no mirror imaging occurring. You can see here on the G90 display, which is 48 kilohertz wide, Basically, from here to here is 48 kilohertz. So, as they go off screen, you can see the border there from here. So, you get an idea of the the width of the spectrum being about four times wider than the the G90. So, that's what you should be getting. Now, these jack connectors here can be problematic. And you see, if I fiddle with the jack connector, we then get the mirror imaging occurring. And that's basically because the jack connectors have just got spring contacts. And if you if you twiddle this, you can get to a point where one of the, the I or the Q isn't making a good connection. So if you do get this type of um, mirrored image, it's it's worth checking you've got a good connection with the jack. And you'll see the signals come out and go into the middle uh, rather than just going from one side to the other. So this is a typical type of IQ failure where the IQ signal isn't well connected. Uh, one of the other things to look at which is very important for the IQ signal is we have the facility to auto balance, auto correct. That's best left off. It's in the configuration menu. You can see here we're going up. Configuration menu. And then on the right side up and down to open. Here to navigate. Open. And then drag down until you see auto correction and just make sure that's off. This really relates to whether your IQ signal from your transceiver is perfect or has imperfections. But for most, and the G90 here, it's not necessary. So it's best to have that off. With a lot of units that have been shipped, that was shipped as on. So it's worth experimenting, turning that off. Uh, and then you've got a perfectly balanced 192 kilohertz and a spectrum and scope view. And as you can see, if the connector's not in properly or if it's fiddled with, you can get a problem there with the, the spectrum. So that's just a little note to be aware of that, that issue. Uh, and otherwise, once it's clean, and you can use a little bit of uh, alcohol to clean the jack, make sure it's well plugged in, you should see a perfect spectrum.